Have you ever wondered what would happen if the world's largest volcanoes erupted all at once? The consequences could be catastrophic, akin to a space-related disaster. Imagine the earth shaking beneath your feet, the sky darkening as ash and smoke blot out the sun. This is the power of supervolcanoes, geological titans that dwarf their regular counterparts in both size and potential for destruction. These sleeping giants are rare, but when they awaken they usher in an era of devastation. Picture a volcanic winter, a chilling phrase that conjures images of snow-laden landscapes and frigid temperatures. It's not just a sci-fi concept, but a potential global catastrophe. Volcanic winters could result from the immense volume of sulfur and ash propelled into the atmosphere by these eruptions, reflecting sunlight away from the earth and causing global temperatures to plummet. The impact on agriculture, technology, and the climate would be significant, altering life as we know it. But where are these sleeping giants? Let's journey into the world of supervolcanoes. The Earth has witnessed supervolcanic eruptions before, and the traces of these cataclysmic events are etched into our geologic record. Let's embark on a journey through time and witness the wrath of Mother Nature. Our first stop is around 28 million years ago in what is now Colorado. The La Garita Caldera erupted, creating one of the Earth's largest known eruptions. It spewed out enough molten rock to bury the entire state of California under a sea of lava nearly a mile deep. The eruption scarred the landscape, leaving behind a gigantic depression known as a caldera. Fast forward to about 2 million years ago, we find ourselves in the region that would become Yellowstone National Park. The Yellowstone supervolcano, a sleeping giant underneath the park's stunning landscape, has erupted three times in the past two million years. Each eruption was more than a thousand times more powerful than the Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980. The last eruption, 640,000 years ago, formed the Yellowstone Caldera and the Lava Creek Tuff, a layer of rock and ash spread across half the United States. Our next stop is the island of Sumatra, around 74,000 years ago. The Toba supervolcano unleashed an eruption so powerful that it plunged the earth into a prolonged volcanic winter. The eruption was so catastrophic that it's believed to have caused a bottleneck in human evolution. The Toba catastrophe theory suggests that this event may have reduced the human population to just a few thousand individuals. These super eruptions were catastrophic, reshaping landscapes and altering the global climate. The ash and gases released blocked out the sun, causing temperatures to plummet. This led to years, even decades of cold, dubbed as volcanic winters. These events decimated wildlife, altered ecosystems, and changed the course of evolution. From the ancient La Garita Caldera to the more recent Toba eruption, each supervolcano has left its mark on our planet. These eruptions reshaped landscapes and affected global climate, but what if they erupted today? In our modern world, a supervolcanic eruption could have far-reaching implications beyond just the immediate devastation. The impacts of such an event are not confined to the immediate vicinity of the eruption. The fallout, both literal and metaphorical, would reverberate across the globe. One of the most profound consequences would be the effect on our planet's climate. A supervolcano's eruption would spew vast amounts of volcanic ash and sulfur-rich gases into the atmosphere. These particles can reflect sunlight back into space, leading to a significant cooling of the Earth's surface, a phenomenon often referred to as a volcanic winter. Now imagine what a sudden drop in temperature would mean for agriculture. Most of our staple crops, such as wheat, rice, and corn, are highly sensitive to temperature changes. If the Earth's average temperature were to decrease, even by a few degrees, the ripple effects on global food production would be catastrophic. Crop failures would lead to food shortages, skyrocketing prices, and potentially mass starvation. And let's not forget about the impact on technology. In today's interconnected world, we rely heavily on satellites for communication, navigation, and weather forecasting. Volcanic ash clouds could disrupt these systems, wreaking havoc on everything from international travel to internet connectivity. Aviation, in particular, would be hit hard. The fine particles in volcanic ash can cause jet engines to fail, grounding flights and stranding passengers. But it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding these potential impacts is the first step towards preparing for them. The more we know about supervolcanoes and their effects, the better we can mitigate the risks. By studying these sleeping giants, we're not only learning about the Earth's past, but also safeguarding our future. The consequences would indeed be global. 
but how do we keep an eye on these sleeping giants? Scientists around the world are keeping a close watch on these supervolcanoes, using state-of-the-art technology and methods. This vigilance is crucial in understanding these geological colossi and predicting their behavior. One primary method of monitoring is through seismic activity. Just like a doctor uses a stethoscope to listen to our heartbeats, geologists use seismometers to listen to the Earth's heartbeat. These devices detect and record the waves of energy that travel through the Earth's layers during an earthquake, providing crucial data about the movement of magma beneath a supervolcano. Ground deformation is another significant sign that scientists keep an eye on. Using global positioning system receivers and satellite radar data, they monitor the subtle swelling and sinking of the Earth's surface. This can indicate the movement of magma or changes in the hydrothermal systems beneath a supervolcano. Gas emissions, particularly of gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, are also closely monitored. Changes in the quantity or composition of these gases can signal changes in the magma reservoir deep below. Even with these advanced monitoring techniques, predicting the exact timing of a supervolcanic eruption remains a complex task. This is where organizations like the United States Geological Survey, or USGS, play a pivotal role. They not only monitor the signs of potential eruptions but also coordinate response planning. Their work involves educating the public, collaborating with other organizations and developing strategies to mitigate the impact of such a catastrophic event. The ultimate goal of all this monitoring and planning is not to scare us but to prepare us. Our understanding of supervolcanoes has come a long way, and every piece of new data brings us one step closer to being able to accurately predict and respond to an eruption. So, while the threat of a supervolcanic eruption is real, rest assured that scientists are keeping a close watch on these sleeping giants ready to alert us at the first sign of trouble.